Whilst other girls were taking Snapchat selfies while watching Nickelodeon or Disney Channel, an 11 year old girl was fighting for her life from a man she knew. A man who lived just a few doors down from her home. The last words she would utter, God knows. This is Stasha Orens' story. And this is day 9 of 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. Stasha was born in Marbury Maternity Hospital at 2.20am on Thursday the 23rd of June 2005. She grew up and lived in Tafelsuch, a neighbourhood in Mitchell's Plain, Cape Town. She was known at school as Little Miss Chatterbox and she was the girl always ready to spread a kind word or pay a compliment to another person. She dreamed of one day becoming a model or being famous and on TV. Sadly, she would fulfill that dream, but not in the way she nor any of her family members had hoped. On the 27th of March 2017, Stasha had gone over to a friend's house in Metrosburg Street, Tafelsa. That morning, as her mother had left the house, on the street she had passed a neighbor from down the road, and he greeted her. At around 12 p.m., the friend Stasha was with had gone to use the bathroom, and when she returned, Stasha was gone. At 6 p.m., the Tafelsa community launched a panic search, and she was reported missing at a local police station. But little did anyone know that before police and the community even started frantically searching, Stasha was fighting for her life just doors away in the home of that very same man that her mother had passed earlier that day. His name was Randy Tango. She had put up a massive fight but she was no match for him. As the life drained from her body, she had told him as he would later confess. You may get away with this, but God knows. After he was done with her, he had wrapped her body in a duvet cover and sheet and placed it in a wheelie dustbin. Then he went to help take part in the search party. Yes, you heard me right. Soon though, the young boy who unwittingly played a role in the kidnapping would be the one to lead police to Stasha's murder. After her body was found in the early hours of Tuesday morning by a nearby soccer field. And so, Randy Tango was arrested. During the trial, more damning DNA and forensic evidence came to light. Due to the fight she put up, there was so much evidence left behind. And he had no choice but to plead guilty. In court proceedings, his previous criminal record also came to light as well as his previous disturbing encounters with minors. Randy Tango was found guilty and convicted to 10 years in prison for a previous assault as well as two life imprisonment terms for the and murder of Stasha Arantz. In South Africa, a life sentence is 25 years. I cover this case in detail on my YouTube channel, Balamonsoon. You can find it in the link in my bio or search Balamonsoon on YouTube.